A NASA spacecraft met its demise today in a first-of-its-kind mission to crash into an asteroid. It worked. Fox's Madeline Rivera reports on the technique that NASA hopes could be used if a giant space rock ever does threaten our planet. We got it? This was the moment NASA had been waiting for. And we have and impact. We <laughs> a spacecraft transmitting its last few images before crashing into an asteroid, fulfilling its mission after a 10-month journey through space. We are taking our spacecraft and hitting an asteroid to change its trajectory. The operation is the first of its kind in the world. It's called DART, which stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test. And the target? A double asteroid system about 7 million miles away, which thankfully, unlike the movie Armageddon, poses no danger to Earth. The dark spacecraft slammed into a moon orbiting a larger space rock. Our target, Dimorphos, that is roughly the size of a pyramid. So you can imagine we're sending a smart car to hit a pyramid. But the end of the dark spacecraft, we are so excited. To be yeah. done. <laughs> only marks the beginning for NASA as they now observe the impact of the impact. That's really what we're going to learn in the next weeks to come. All right, we hit this asteroid. Now, how effective was that at deflecting it and what would that mean for using it? A collision that could change the course of planetary defense. We do not have any techniques in our pocket right now if an asteroid was heading to Earth. After tonight, we will have a viable technique. The mission costs roughly $330 million, well below many of NASA's science operations. In Washington, Malta Rivera, Fox 13 News, Utah. Patrick Wiggins, NASA ambassador to Utah, says the idea behind today's mission was not to blow the asteroid apart. He says scientists are able to calculate with precision where asteroids and planets will be in the future. That means they'll be able to tell whether an asteroid is on a collision course with Earth several decades ahead of time. If we see an asteroid coming at us and it's 10 days out, there's probably nothing we can do. But that's why we look for them. And so if we see one coming that's 50 years out, all we got to do is go out and just nudge it ever so slightly. And over those then next 50 years, it will change enough to where it'll go zipping on by. And, and well, I've always thought it'd be fun to have it hit the moon. Boy, what a show that would be. <laughs> and it would avoid annihilating all life as we know it on Earth. Wiggins says over the next few weeks and months, NASA scientists will be able to determine whether this idea today will work on a much larger scale. And if it does, Bruce Willis would have wasted a trip in the movie Armageddon. <laughs>